everyone, it's Dennis Wood from Cinevate here for another installment of Cinevate's Video University. And in this uh, particular segment, we decided to do something a little bit different and shoot in the conservatory. It's minus 20 outside and windy, but we are here. It's uh, warm and pleasant and we've got some nice colors. So we uh, are going to take you through a three-part series which will cover the Pegasus linear tracking systems, uh, we have three kits basically, or, or three setups. One is the Pegasus uh, kit, one is the Pegasus carbon kit, and the other is the Pegasus heavy lifter. In order to create a linear tracking system from just a few basic parts, we've got what is called the Pegasus kit. And the Pegasus kit is essentially these trucks and two of these. And these are um, kind of interesting looking devices, but they do a bunch of things. These legs are the table legs, or the bear claws as we love to call them. And you've got a tripod plate here that you can mount any standard tripod to. Um, notice also we have a piece of, uh, or a hole that's bored out for 5 8 grip. So if you have standard grip rod, you, and we're gonna show you as we go into this series, different ways of mounting the system, but you can mount through the grip rod as well. So we have three different ways to use the system. So you get a bunch of parts and then the question is, well, what do you do with them? And it's really quite straightforward. The Pegasus, uh, or the, the Proteus kit for Pegasus users assumes that you've got our Rails kit already, which means you have these pieces here. And we're gonna retask these pieces and the carbon to create us basically a linear tracking system. So if you've got the Pegasus kit, you've already got these parts and a few others, but these are the important ones. And what you're basically gonna do is take your rig apart. So we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna slide the, uh, the Proteus base. There's a real lesson in Latin here. And we'll slide our rods out. Now, these are 15 mil carbon rods, but the question is, well, can you use other people's? And absolutely, if you've got 15 mil rods, then you're good. Um, these happen to be our 45, so essentially we're gonna end up creating a very short system. But what you'll see here is I can take this and fasten it into the end of the block and you'll see how this works real quick. Okay, so now we have 50 mil rods, but they're 100 mil apart. And we're ready, basically, to mount up. Let's make sure we got these tight. And we've got these nice little toolless fasteners in here, so you can put a lot of torque where required, uh, if required, on the unit. So we're just gonna tighten that up. And that, this did not happen. Uh, I burned myself making popcorn, if you must know. So, hence the Band-Aid that will feature, be featured all the way through this clip. So we've got a set of rods now mounted securely. And in the kit, you remember you had the two trucks and from your Pegasus or from your Proteus kit, you've got these pieces. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna end up with this because you're gonna take the base, you're gonna take the Proteus base plate and you're gonna mount the trucks in using the existing links, just as you see here. So what you have here is a couple of things. A we can put it on this system, and for the sake of the demonstration, we haven't put our long one meter rods on, but in this configuration, what you've got is basically a super compact system um, that will allow you to do small slides. And the, the slides can be a little bit bigger, of course, because you can reconfigure our plate. So if I hold that up so you can see it, you can see we can actually do quite a, bit very, quite a few variations and this is why the system has a patent pending because it allows you, uh, it's a fairly unique design that allows you to do quite a few different variations uh, for mounts. So I'm just gonna really quickly mount that up. Now, in order to get this nice and smooth, and you can see it's not level right now, I can deliberately do weird things like this and create, essentially mount these things on an angle and have a slider that's fully bearing that moves in this axis. So, you can see that this, this kit uh, provides you, obviously we'll, we'd put the block on the back and we'd have a mini kit. Now one of the things that's really popular about the, the kit is that you can't see it, but every one of our wheels here, which actually run on actual bearings, they have an O-ring integrated and the O-ring is basically a tire. Um, so what that means is if we come down to the table, now this is not a smooth table, but what we have here is essentially a table dolly. And on a smooth surface, it allows you to get a very, very nice shot. And we've got some great behind the scenes shots that we'll edit in here so you can see some shots that were got using this rig.
But that's basically the Pegasus kit for people or for uh, Proteus Rails owners. So again, the kit that goes assuming that you already have our Proteus Rails system. And we do in our catalog now have one meter rods. So you could potentially buy a kit and buy longer rods to give yourself a one meter kit. Okay, so if you look in the Cinebate catalog, we do have one meter rods. So that's part one. Part two now will deal with the Pegasus system uh, in the carbon configuration. Okay, so we'll um, do another segment and show you uh, some variations on how to mount it and how to use that particular system. So thanks so much and hopefully you'll tune in for part two.